Hey guys, so this is a get ready with me kind of tutorial maybe. Um, I wanted to do a look that was very, very glowy. It wound up coming off a little bit more matte than I wanted it to, but I wanted to basically like overdo it with the highlight and glow. I think I accomplished that a little bit. Um, I did want to do a very pretty sunsetty eye. I really like the way my eye came out. Um, I don't know, but it's not really a tutorial because I'm just using things as I went along, just going through my collection, using some things that I haven't used in a while, different things. Um, it's going to be a voiceover, but I'll tell you everything that I'm using as I go along. Um, I really like it. Let me know what you think. I've been practicing. I want to practice more of my blending with my eye look, and I wanted to just um, do something that I don't normally do. Like, I, I, I need to have my face matte, and I wanted to make it really, really glowy today. Um, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it, but if you like it, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them down below and just watch me put this on. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to start with a matte cream base. This is a color tattoo, and I just set it with a little bit of white shadow. I'm going in with a medium brown shade, so orangey brown, getting that all in the crease and blown up all the way up into the crease. I really, really enjoyed that shade, and I'm over blending um, just to get, just to practice my blending. I'm not the best at it, but... Breaking it out. Next, I'm gonna go into a brighter orangier shade. This is all from the 35O palette from Morphe. Um, just as you notice, it's a little bit brighter, more orangey, and I'm putting that over the brown that I put in, just creating some layers in the look, building it up, and then I'm gonna take a deeper brown. It's like a chocolate. I would give it a chocolate, and I'm putting that more so in the center crease area, just to give it a little bit more depth and dimension, and uh, going back and forth with my. Uh, <laughs> once your wiper motions. I'm gonna take some more of that orange and kind of go over top to make it kind of cohesive. And um, for the lid, I wanted it pretty metallic. So in the 35-0, like in the bottom right-hand corner, there's this bronzy copper shade. And I'm going in and I'm putting that on the lid area and just blending a little bit up so it's not too much of a sh like sharp cut crease type of thing. I'm just going ahead and putting that on the lid and kind of blending over the edges. Um, yeah. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to go into the um, Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette, though, and go into that gold shade at the top, and I'm going to put that right in the center, and it really just brightens it up, because the theme of this look is just gold and glowy, and I'm putting that right in the middle, and I'm really enjoying how it's looking. It really sits well with that uh, coppery shade, so no issues there. I'm also taking that gold from Kat Von D and putting it under the brow, making it pretty prominent as a gold highlight under the brow area. So when you catch it from the side, it looks marvelous, you guys. So very, very proud of myself with my eye look and just, I really enjoyed it. Now I'm digging for eyeliner and I'll find it one day at some point in time in my life. We'll get there. All right, there it is. I am using just a, uh, this is a NYX liner, but any liquid liner, um, your favorite, and I'm making a wing. The wing is fairly thin, well, for my standards, and I'm just going ahead and putting it on. You guys know I'm not the best at wing liner on camera, but I am getting better and better every day. Again, proud of myself with that, too, so I'm going ahead and doing a skinny wing, um, too, because I don't want to cover up too much of the copper and gold, but you know, a wing brings it together. Also, I'm going to be wearing falsies, and we need them to sit on something. And my favorite is black liner. So, here we go. Um, I'm peeling off the tape. We got a little sharp little wing there. I had to adjust something, fix a little bit. It's easy to go overboard with it, so I'm going to have to calm down real quick. And then I'm peeling off the other one. The wings are fairly decent. Um, not mad at them, so I'm just wiping my face off, wiping off the fallout, and I am going to take this copper eyeliner. It's from Milani, and it's like their waterproof gel Milani, Maybelline gel liner. It's a copper shade, and then I'm taking the Urban Decay um, After Dark liner and Demolition, if I'm not mistaken. It's the dark brown, and I'm putting that on the outer portion of the lower lash line, and I'm blending a little bit of dark brown shadow, that chocolate brown I used, and a little bit of the copper on the lid in the inner part. Just kind of smudging that around, making it look like a little sun sun. <laughs> and then I'm curling my lashes. I'm going to curl them, put on some Lorac Pro Mascara, and put on some lashes. The lashes I decided, I'm looking for lashes now, I've decided to wear are the Coco Lashes in Goddess. So, yeah, put those on. Now we're just going to go to the face, 
and I'm using some Max Strobe Cream. It gives a beautiful glow already. You can see how it changed my face a little bit with that glow. The foundation I'm using is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. It's not that luminous to be honest with you. Remember, I have oily skin and I like matte stuff. And it looks really, really too light for me right here on camera, but with those lights, all of them look washed out. I think I say that once in every tutorial type of video. Like, it's not that bad in person, but I think you guys understand now. Like, camera makes it look crazy, but and I'm going to blend that out. Now, this part of my face, I really wanted to just glowy, and I didn't know what to do. So I'm starting with a little skin tone concealer to try to hide some of my dark circles because I didn't color correct. And then I'm going into, this is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Um, it's in the deepest shade they have. And I looked at it, and I'm like, okay, I like that. That's going to be a natural glow, but I want to overdo it. So I took some Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm putting that one in a lighter shade. And now I'm blending it out with a uh, sponge. To definitely give me that highlight of glowy look. That's what I was going for. Um, again, it's not really a tutorial, but I'm just showing you what I did because I didn't know. Um, I don't really do looks like this on the regular, all that glow, but I worked it out. Um, been I banana powder to bake this part, and this is something after this, this is something I never do. I cream contoured. Um, I I don't mind it. I love the look, but it just takes so long, too long. So I'm taking the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit, and I'm, I put a little uh, maracuja oil in it to make it a little creamier, and I'm just contouring around the perimeter of my face, jawline. You guys know, and I'm actually going to go down the nose. What? I know. I'm trying to be Instagram glam, y'all. Let's, let's, let's do this. Anyway, <laughs> taking one of those new Real Techniques contour blender sponges and going ahead and blending out my cream contour as best as I can. I'm, I really don't do it enough to be perfect, per, uh, perfect at it, honestly, um, or even near it. But I'm blending it out as much as I can, checking how it looks. You're going to see me look at myself a lot in the mirror trying to figure it out, but it's this is what it is. Taking a smaller micro mini uh, beauty blender and blending out my nose contour and seeing if it works. I don't know. So now I'm dusting off the bake and I realized that um, I'm still seeing, I need a little bit more pigmentation. So I dipped into another yellow based powder to give me a little bit more pigmentation, um, a little bit more yellow. So adding my mascara to the lower lash line. And um, yeah, that should finish the eye look except for my inner corner, which we'll see that in a minute. Uh, but now I'm just taking a face powder. I'm not taking like my super, super matte ones. This is the uh, NYX Selfie Ready Powder just to buff everything together a little bit. Yes, I want my highlights stark on purpose, so we're getting somewhere today. I'm um, taking some more of the Tarte and uh, blending that out down the center of the face. Here we go. We're getting, we're getting bright status now and then still blending it back out with the powder. And you see what we're getting now, we're getting this highlighted effect. And of course, it's always times 10 under these bright lights. So you can imagine what it looks like in real life. I'm taking a blush, a glowy blush. This is the NYX Ombre Blush and Nude to me. Putting that on the cheeks, you can see it gives a very nice healthy glow. And now we're going to go and try to, um, yeah, highlight all of this. So the highlight I chose to do is the use is the mineralized skin finish uh gold deposit by mac um and the brush that i use sometimes i don't feel it's like it 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 um i don't know deposits it well so sometimes i go back and forth with this highlighter brush and i'm trying to work it out here but you see the glow is coming together i want it to overdo it with the glow i really really do so i'm using my finger i'm packing it on down the face i don't know i just just wanted to do something different and i did the cupid's bow and so I kind of really like my glowy face. Um, I'm going to put on a liquid lip. And this is the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. Uh, just as a nude, nude. This is a dark brown. And that kind of completes the look. So, um, you know, let me know what you think. I spray some NYX Dewy Spray because why not? And I don't know. I just wanted to have fun with it. I really like it. Check out my Instagram for more pictures. Um, and yeah, thanks you guys for watching so much. I really, really appreciate all the support you guys give me. I love you guys. Talk to you later.